Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out this week's latest Dev Channel Insider Preview Build, Build 23580. So if you are interested in what Microsoft is working on in the Dev Channel in the Insider program, then just to go through a couple of changes and improvements. Now, first of all, starting with this latest Dev Channel Build for this week, users with local accounts will be able to access Copilot in Windows for a limited number of queries before needing to sign in. Now, Microsoft doesn't say how many limited a number of queries you get, but nonetheless, and this may be good news um, for those of you who are using Windows currently with a local account, because currently in the stable version, you need to be signed in to use Copilot. So that could be a nice move in the future. Now, Windows Share has received an improvement, and Microsoft say they have significantly improved um, nearby share transfer speed. Uh, for users on the same network. So before these changes now rolling out this week to the Dev Channel, you had to be on the same private network, but now you just have to be on the same network, which could be either public or private. And that's a bit of an improvement with nearby share transfer speeds. Now I'm just going to mention the next one. And Microsoft has mentioned they are temporarily disabling the update of their new color font format that displayed um, richer emoji with a 3D-like appearance. And this is to fix some bugs this week. So they are planning to re-enable the new updated um, emoji in a future Dev Channel flight. So if you are in the Dev Channel, just take note of that. Now, if you are wanting to stick around, just to go through uh, some of the fixes that have rolled out uh, to different components of um, Windows in the Dev Channel. And you may find this of interest if you are finding yourself in the Dev Channel. Now, and if we head over to the File Explorer, um, Microsoft say they fixed an issue uh, where using mouse back and forward buttons didn't react when hovering over the recommended file section of Home. And they also fixed an issue where Gallery would stop displaying correctly if you applied Group Bar to all folders. So those are two fixes rolling out for the File Explorer. And then if we head to our Taskbar with the Task View button, they fixed an issue that made the desktop tooltips in the task view hard to read in contrast themes. And they also fixed an issue that was causing the taskbar icons to disappear after switching desktops. So basically, that's two improvements that have rolled out to task view. And then another task view fix. So there's three fixes that have rolled out for task view. So obviously, a couple of problems there in the dev channel. They fixed an issue which um, was resulting in Windows Spotlight wallpapers not showing correctly in the desktop thumbnail in task view. So as we can see, if you are using a Windows Spotlight uh, wallpaper, that bug would have been addressed um, if you are using task view. Then we get a couple of known issues because obviously the dev channel is still early days. And uh, um, just to mention this last one quickly, because I have um, mentioned this in the previous Canary channel build we looked at earlier today. There's a Microsoft Store update where you can now customize the install location of your games. So when downloading games now, um, you have the option now to be able to specify the installation drive, which I think is a nice move. So that's a Microsoft Store update. And that's more or less what's new um, in the Dev Channel for this week. As mentioned with the Insider builds over the last couple of weeks, I think as things start kind of Moving towards year end, things are stabilizing a little bit now in the Insider program, so there's not too many front-facing features rolling out. But nonetheless, that's what's new this week in Build 23580 for the Dev Channel Insiders. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.